Hey fellow world wearers, it's Angry Turtle and this video will be all about 50 cal. I do plan to make a series about full weapon guides for all the useful weapons. But first I'm doing this one and I will see if you like something like that. As you know that I like to make video that you like to watch. Therefore, there are like four main indicators always for me if you like the video or not. I will check number of views, how long you watch the video for and how many likes it takes. And that depends if I will do more than just this one video. But in the worst case scenario, there will be this one video about my favorite heavy gun that's a 50 cal of course. And you can see it here, up close, that's how 50 cal looks like. It's really nice gun. My favorite, not only because of look, but how it feels when you are actually using it. And first let me show you quickly when you can find a weapon, if you need one, just a non-legendary spawn in the world. For this purpose we are going to Clarksburg Shooting Club and from the spawn point we are turning right and we are just running down this road. And you can see this track over there. And you probably can already see the 50 cal. Yes, there is a 50 cal mounted on this track and you can just grab it. And level of this 50 cal will depend on what was the level of the player that entered this area for the first time and spawned this 50 cal. And you can just take it if you need one. I will show you just here a map with other spots when you can find a 50 cal. There are four spots on the map when you can go and grab a 50 cal. It's useful to know if you need to scrap some for mods. As well, if you need a legendary, there is a guarantee legendary from a Beckett questline. It's called Final Ward. It's anti-armor with faster fire rate and damage resistance while reloading. Then it is almost a perfect roll for a 50 cal. It's really good and it's a guarantee. Uh, to do the questline for Beckett, Beckett is an ally, uh, you need to enter Ash heap area when you are above level 20. Uh, this will activate the quest for you and then you can carry on. It is a final reward for a Beckett questline, therefore, yes, you will need to spend some time doing the quest. Now about the plan for a 50 cal, it can be randomly found in Savage Divide in some containers or just as a loose plan spawn. But if you don't want to rely on the random spawn, you can just straight up buy plan for a 50 cal at basically any Raider bot vendor. For example, we can use the one at Pleasant Valley Station. And you can see this plan is rather expensive. That's already with very high charisma, 2,756 caps. If you will be able to find one for free, it will save you a lot of caps. And now 50 cal crafting. It's under heavy guns on your weapon workbench and to craft one you will need gunsmith rank 4. The lowest possible level for 50 cal is 25 and it's maxed out at level 45. About the crafting cost, yes it is expensive to craft. We'll craft one now. Switching to modifications, 50 cal do not have too many possible modifications. About the receiver, you can either keep standard receiver or equip it with a prime receiver. If you need a plan to modify it for a prime receiver, you will need to either hunt Scorch Beasts or do Scorch Beast Queen event. Scorch Beast Queen event guarantee you one prime receiver plan for any weapon. Luckily, there is no duplicates after you learn the prime receiver plan, you cannot drop it again. Therefore, it's not too hard to unlock all the prime receivers for weapons. 50 cal is exception compared to other heavy guns because changing the barrel from standard to heavy increases its damage. About the paint, I have this gold 50 cal machine gun paint that is occasionally appearing in Atom Shop. About the stats, 50 cal equipped with a heavy barrel with all the perks and in the nerd rage threshold, what means low health, is doing 116 damage per shot, 
It's using 50 cal ammo, it's good fire rate of 91, good range of over 200, accuracy is decent as for a heavy gun, it's rather on the heavy side with 20 pounds of weight. About the ammo cost, without any ammo crafting perks you will get 100 rounds for 12 gunpowder, 10 lead and 40 steel. If you want to craft ultra sight ammo for the prime receiver, you will get twice as many, but it will cost you one pure violet flux, one piece of ultra sight and 50% more of other ingredients. Now we'll take a quick look on combat efficiency. That's a build I'm using. Legendary perks that I do have equipped. My mutations, fullest. Of course, in Nerdrage with Power Armor equipped. And we are using this non-legendary 50 cal as I want those video to have a baseline for effectiveness of the weapons then it always will be non-legendary gun, but with optimized build to do those damage. And now we have level 75 super mutant. As you can see, it's not much of a problem to kill it. About the reload, it's okay. It's not the fastest, but it holds 250 rounds. Then it's really nice. As you can see, accuracy is good. There's no complaints about that. Uh, in my personal experience, it's easier to aim in first person, although it can vary for you. I prefer first person as I'm able to do headshots quite consistently in a first person and I cannot do that in the third person for whatever reason. I probably just not used to it. But as you can see, there is absolutely no problem for me to kill all those super mutants, including the legendary ones. It's doing really good damage. Let's check this legendary drop. Furious single action revolver. One star, of course one star. Yeah, it's absolutely no problem to annihilate all those super mutants, regardless if you are able to do the headshots or if you are aiming for a torso. And yes, that's a non-legendary 50 cal. And that will be hopefully everything you should know about 50 cal. If I miss anything, because it's my first attempt at this type of a guide, definitely let me know in the comments section if there is something more you would like to know about a gun where I will be doing a similar video in the future. If or if I will be doing similar video in the future. All depend on performance of this video if you actually like it. And now as always, thank you a lot for watching and see you guys in the next one.